However, those who were present at the New African Shrine on the 16th of June, the shrine was looking very different as it was very beautifully decorated. The King of Afrobeat, Femi Anikola Pokuti, celebrated his 50th birthday. like a start of another level you know so I'm happy for him he's one of the biggest Nigerian artists of all time I wish him long life and prosperity let me say and I wish him more strength to carry on doing what he's doing and he did so in a grand way with family friends celebrities and distinguished persons in attendance <laughs> on TV brings you Femi's Golden Jubilee Night for your viewing pleasure. Hello lovers of good music. Today is a very special day in the life of one of Nigeria's great musicians. The king of Afrobeat, as he's referred to, Femi Kuti today is 50 years. And here at Africa Shrine, we're celebrating his 50th birthday. I must tell you that this red carpet that I'm on has welcomed an avalanche of great celebrities and personalities. What more can I say? All I can say right now is I wish the king of Afrobeat a happy 50th birthday and more things to come your way. Five words, well, how, we, how can you describe Femi Kuti? Femi Kuti is the embodiment of what I can say continuing the legacy of real Nigerian music, the Afrobeat, you know. There's a lot of trends coming up, there's a lot of new things happening, but people have to go back to the basics and where it all started. Back to the King Sonia days and the Humasa Akelas, the Felas, and Femi is continuing that legacy in Nigerian music, so it's very important. I love it, it's my song, because his father is my friend. We are together for decades. And anything Femi want to do without me, it's not so rich. Talented, uh, skillful, original, uh, new face of Afrobeat in the whole world. The artist Femi Kuti is one of the few artists that has come out of Africa and internationalized our music. He has carried on where his father left off because his father was recognized in specialized circles but his father was not really what we could call an international artist in the true sense of the word that he would attract loads and loads of people whereas Femi can do that Femi does that all the time every time Femi travels out he gets loads and loads of people come and enjoy his music and he's spreading the gospel of Afrobeat internationally Taking it away from where his father left it because I, I, I was particularly happy that Femi didn't start doing Afrobeat the way his father did it. So people, can, people couldn't say that, oh, he was co just copying his father. He brought his own touch to it, his own character to the music. And that's, that's what's getting him all around. 
He's got two nominations for the Grammy. Grammy. He hasn't won it. I'm sure he will win it one day if he doesn't stop and uh, if he doesn't relent. And so I, I think that his uniqueness is, has shown through his music, and that, that's in his service. Femi, what is there to say about him? He's great. Absolutely great. Fantastic. 50? Well, I'm sure most people are looking forward to being 50. And Femi has just clocked it. So congratulations to him. He's a genius. Yeah, that sums up everything. Everybody knows that Femi Anifla Kokuti is a very wonderful person, quiet guy, easy going person, he's a talented person. So we are here to celebrate with him today on his 50th birthday. I wish him a happy birthday and long life. Well, um, my name is Zito Pella. I'm a magician. I've known Femi since I was born, so because we were family friends. So he's a brother from another mother. So I'm here to felicitate with him and to wish him more prosperous years on head. Talented, hardworking, energetic, entertaining, ever visent, and of course a great scion of the Kuti family who is doing so well in his chosen field. A brother, a preacher, a fighter, a philosopher, and um, a down-to-earth person. Femi Kuti is one of the living legends of our time. He's a man who dared to you know, do something different with Afrobeat and he created a more um, international acceptability for Afrobeat. Um, when Femi was 14, he, Yeni and Shola used to come to my house and I was working with him a little bit on music, so he has been my friend since he was a teenager. Describe Femi as an enigmatic personality, um, a musician with depth, you know, and one who is an original because from the word go he knew exactly what he wanted to do with his music. What can I say? Ah, that's heavy word, though. There's nothing to say. What can you say? Your mouth is like this. I got, I got me. What can you say? Femi Kuti Lamakwe. That is the best thing to say to him. Well, I don't have much to say about Femi other than saying he is a strong and energetic personality. Femi is a strong fella, a one who believes in the cause and get go out to get it. Oh, Femi Kuti is my big brother in the game. He's the one that opened the We Are African song and he's a true African guy.